I'm gonna teach you how to do daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly reviews in Obsidian to create your best life. This regular reflection and planning in Obsidian is the highest leverage habit I have ever ingrained into my life. It has allowed me to create content on YouTube, my blog, newsletter, and podcast part-time in college, regularly traveling, keeping a tight social group, participating in clubs, socializing, all while remaining in touch with my values, exercising, sleeping well, and eating healthily. Unfortunately, most people don't do it because they don't think they have the time, they don't have clarity over how to do the reviews, they don't know when to do the reviews, and they don't know how to do them in Obsidian. I'm gonna solve all of these issues by providing a system for doing them in Obsidian, as well as giving you my templates at the end of this video for free. Let's go. The first thing you're gonna have to do is install periodic notes, because that's how we start doing weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly reviews in Obsidian. So to install periodic notes, all you have to do is open the community plugins tab, go to periodic notes and enable it. And then once you've done that, you can create a folder called calendar and then subfolders inside it called daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly. So you can see what that looks like right here. Then you're gonna go to the periodic notes tab and enable each of the periodic notes. So you're gonna type in the respective date, format, and folder for each periodic note, which you can see I've done here. Then every single day when you log into Obsidian, you can open your automatically created daily note. And that's where we get into the reviews, the five reviews you can do. First is daily reviews. So I have a timer set for 9 p.m. every night, which reminds me to journal in my daily note in Obsidian. So my daily review template looks like this. It has the dates at the top with some code to get the dates in the correct format when I open up the daily note in Obsidian. It asks, what is my most story-worthy moment of the day? What significant things happened today? What's the best thing I learned? What did I dream about last night? Oh, and then I do do these morning journaling questions in the morning. I also, in my daily note, will put in just a brain dump of anything else that I'm thinking throughout my day. It's like my, my starting place for adding stuff in my obsidian. So that's my daily note. Then I have weekly reviews, which is every Friday I go through all my communication mediums, all my task management lists, my calendar, and I plan out the next week goals in the realms of health, work, and relationships based on my monthly goals. And anyone who wants to learn how to do a weekly review in its entirety, more so than just the reflection part in Obsidian, you should check out Tiago Forte's phenomenal blog post on the topic, which I will link in the description below. So in my actual weekly review, what I do is I go through the last seven days of my journal entries and I fill out the journaling questions in my weekly review template, which looks like this. It has the same code as the daily reviews where it automatically fills it in, but it's for weeks instead. And it also shows all the days in format. And the questions are very similar. They're just higher order. So it's what's the most story worthy moment of the week? What's the most enjoyable event of the week? The three most enjoyable events of the week? What were the big three wins for the week? What was the craziest or most notable dream I had? What was the most valuable thing I learned this week? What was my favorite image of the week? And then what did I like and not like about how I showed up for the areas of my life this week? And what are the key goals for next week in the realms of health, work, and relationships? So Doing this review helps me so much with planning the next week and also uncovering, which is a theme that we'll get to in the next reviews, patterns in what brings me joy, gives me energy, and what does the exact opposite. It makes me want to jump into a black hole and shrivel up into oblivion. <laughs> And that allows me to do this thing called lifestyle design, which is the art of creating and adapting the best possible life for you. By doing this in Obsidian regularly, I have made my life so much better by finding patterns. And you can do the same with these reviews. So that was the weekly review. What about the monthly review? So on the last day of every month, I go through the last four weeks of weekly reviews journals, and I roughly plan out the next month's goals in the realms of health, work, and relationships 
based on my quarterly goals. So my monthly review looks very similar to my weekly review, just higher order, but it does have a few new things. The main new thing it has is what projects or tasks, if any, did I not get done? And this is really important because it makes it so that I reflect on what I didn't get done and why it didn't get done. So I might be able to get it done in the next month, but it also helps me identify zombie projects, which are projects that just keep coming and coming and you never want to do them and they never get done and they just sap your energy. You know the project I'm talking about. And by having this regular time where you can identify those, you can choose to get rid of them. Like, no, I don't want to do this anymore. So that's what this part is for. So those are monthly reviews. Then we have quarterly reviews, which are on the last day of every quarter. I block out the whole day. That's right, the whole day, except maybe for dinner, because it usually doesn't take that long. And I go somewhere new, a coffee shop, a hotel, the moon. I'm joking, I don't, that would be cool though. Anywhere that isn't the usual. I wanna rid myself of the usual cues of life so I can get into a reflective mindset. Then I go through the last three months of monthly reviews and the last 12 weekly reviews and then all the daily reviews from those weeks as well. I'm gonna show you the quarterly review template so that you can see. I even have some steps up here for how exactly to go about it in order. Very similar to the monthly review, just on a higher order level. And there are some questions that are different, like what could have gone better and how? What did I learn about what I enjoy and don't enjoy? If someone could see my actions instead of my words, what would they say are important to me? Is what I'm giving my most attention actually as important as what I'm giving it? What did I like and not like about my areas this quarter? Oh, I change any values in my who am I note to reflect me changing. I have a note which has all my values in it, and this allows me to identify values that might have changed as I've changed. How did I feel on the wheels of life from one to 10? Oh, and then these are the three most important questions of the quarterly review. Crucial. What should I start doing? What should I stop doing? What should I keep doing? And especially the what should I stop doing? I always have to choose at least one thing to stop doing from whatever it is that I'm doing in my life. And by choosing one thing every quarter, I make sure that I fill my life with more things I enjoy that bring me energy that are meaningful and get rid of the stuff that saps everything away from me. And you can do the same. The last thing I also do is what is my ideal week look like? Every quarter, I go on my Google Calendar and I craft out what an ideal week for me looks like, like literally listing out everything I would do, like writing in the morning, exercising, socializing, reading, all of that. And the idea is that by creating an ideal week in my calendar, I can then try and make my actual weeks look more like it. Now they're never gonna look exactly like my ideal week. That would be cool if we could all live the ideal week every week, but unfortunately, that's not the reality. However, the exercise helps you try and get there. So finally, we have my yearly reviews, which on the last day of every year, like in my quarterly review, black out the whole day to go somewhere, and I go through the last four quarterly reviews, my 12 monthly reviews, my 56 weekly reviews, and all my daily reviews. And there is a couple new questions that I ask myself, like what 20% of things accounted for 80% of my enjoyment? What 20% of things accounted for 80% of my unhappiness? Same, what should I start doing? What should I stop doing? What should I keep doing? I also do the Odyssey plan, which is so powerful. It is a process for figuring out what you want your life to look like in the following years. So there's three questions inside of it. First, what does my life look like five years from now on my current path? What does my life look like five years from now on a completely separate path? And what does my life look like five years from now if societal obligations and money weren't a factor? By answering those questions, it helps you figure out if you should be trying to change your broad level vision of your life. Very helpful. And the last question that I ask myself that's different is what is the theme of this next year? This is just a fun question for me. I like getting a theme for the year. This year, it was inner peace. The reason it was inner peace is because I feel like I have quite a bit of my habits and routines in place, like good health, healthy eating, good healthy sleeping, good healthy exercise and socializing. But 
I was still anxious a lot of the time because of how much I was giving myself to do. So I wanted to try and encourage myself to be more at peace. And that's why I made the theme of the year inner peace. So I think you can do something similar yourself in your own reviews to try and like give yourself a theme for the next year. One last thing that I should also mention is I create a not to do list, which is a list from the things of the 20% of things that accounted for 80% of my unhappiness. And I keep that by my side for the first month of the year. So this ensures that I don't schedule something from that list on my calendar without serious contemplation. Because I mean, you've literally proven that those things are not good for you to be doing. So why would you do them? <laughs> so all in all, these five reviews, daily reviews, weekly reviews, monthly reviews, quarterly reviews, and yearly reviews, allow you to create and adapt a life that resonates most with you. And the whole system works off each other in this beautiful interchange because the daily reviews are inside of the weekly reviews and the monthly reviews and the quarterly reviews and the yearly reviews. This is how I have created a life that I love so much. Stop being unintentional with how you live your life and, and start really honing in scientifically, figuring out what it is that resonates with you, what brings you joy, energy, what doesn't, what saps it away, and sit down and do the reviews because it will be life-changing when you do. So if you want to get the review templates yourself, check out in the description to get the templates through email for free. And as always, have a fantastic rest of your day and bye-bye.